Hey folks, Tech Tucker here. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to go on a CEX hunt, trade in some items from the collection just to get some voucher. I'll explain the reasons why in a clip shortly, and then review the pickups as we usually do. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright folks, so I'm downsizing the collection just a tinsy wincy bit again today and I'm just going to go over what I'm selling and why. So Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One, I do feel this is imminently going to come to Game Pass and I bought it on PS4 not long ago which is the preferred platform for collecting, hence Black Ops 3 going. Advanced Warfare, no attachment to the game, it's just sitting rotting away taking space on my shelf, I'll never play it, I have it on the 360. So again, that's the reason. Madden 19, similar, I just don't care about Madden. And it's got 80 pence trading value, so I don't need it. Then got Project Cars 2, similar sort of thing. I'm never going to play this. It's sitting wasting shelf space. You may be wondering, Pokemon Scarlet, you like Pokemon, Tech Tucker. And uh, yeah, what I've done is I have recently purchased this at a very good price. It's like £38 off eBay with a code to discount it. So I've got a better version on the cart. So there's no point in hoarding the original. And what I've done is I've kept the brand new, you know, car. <laughs> glossy cover from that because I pretty much opened the games put them on the shelf so swapped a condition upgrade from a violet with a case since it was second hand so I'm just going to trade that back in then ukulele impossible layer in the original I bought those in games three for two they were essentially free once I traded in the other items but I do have impossible layer on the switch and ukulele on the switch as well and they've just announced uka replayly so <laughs> it's a remaster of this game that's going to improve it. So I've got the Switch physical. There's no need for me to have another copy of the game. And then finally, Fallout 3. Selling this for the reason I do already have the complete edition on 360. So this is simply just taking up space that I can't really afford to lose. So yeah, should get some decent voucher for this. Nothing amazing, but I'm expecting maybe 30 to 40 pounds in credit. So yeah, catch you on the other side. Okay folks, so yeah, I've got a small stack of games right here. I'm pretty happy with what I got overall. I'll go into the details momentarily. But yeah, before we get started the, the CEX pickups, I did grab a couple items just in general. So with games 50% off, that is pretty much all gone. There was one item and I did hear that your reward points are gonna disappear by the time, say, I think it's July. Yeah, I believe it's July when that comes up. So I picked up a copy of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger HD on the Nintendo Switch. I did hold off on this initially for the sole reason that um, I think they're doing that version of like with the games all on car, maybe? I might be wrong. If I'm correct, I'll of course show a picture, you know, detailing the the release. But yeah, I just thought, you know what, for the price, I had reward points, so I got a pound or two off. I think it's like six pounds all in afterwards. So I was like, you know what, I'll pick that up. I do have an Xbox One, but I'm considering getting rid I might get rid of that version of it, but it might not even be worth my time, to be honest. We'll see. But yes, I also got a game out of a Smith on the Days of Play sale, and that is The Last of Us Part 2. You may have, if you're a longer time viewer, you'll notice that I traded them a PlayStation 4 version of The Last of Us 2. It just made sense to get the PS5 remaster. So I've got that now, and at a reasonable price of £30. You know what, I'm not going to complain, that was pretty solid. So yeah, two additional games. Two additional games, and now we'll go through the CEX pickups. Alright, so I've got some receipts here that I'm just going to take you guys through it in terms of the voucher that I got from the trade-in. So there's a couple of games that I forgot to put on camera because I actually had to go back to CEX because I need to refund some items. We'll get to that in a moment. But for now, I'll show a screenshot as I'm going through these as well, of course. So for Pokemon Scarlet, £23 voucher, um, which is a tad more than I thought it would be. And after buying the version with the hidden treasure of area zero dlc that brings it to basically what 15 pounds all in which that's really solid for the dlc considering i'm sure it's like 30 pounds for it off the eShop or something anyways project cars 2 2 pounds madden nfl 19 80 pence call of duty advanced warfare for the xbox one 90 pence call of duty black ops 3 for same platform four pounds not bad and then Ukulele and Ukulele Impossible Lair, both £4 each on the PlayStation 4. And finally, Fallout 3 on the 360 for a £3 voucher. 
So that's handy, considering some of those games are just doubles of games I already had in the collection. I don't need, you know, games on multiple platforms. There are some games I'll make the exception for, like Sonic, maybe Crash Bandicoot. You know, those are like maybe the few games I'll make an exception for. Then finally, a couple of games that I took on the trip to refund some items. It was New Style Boutique 3, because it was sitting on the shelf, I'm never going to play it. So a nice £21 voucher, considering that was an Argos clearance game. And then New Style Boutique, £10 voucher, when I got that for £4 out of GMB Tech uh, some time ago, earlier this year. So yeah, can't complain at all. Okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff, the pickups. So, in terms of what I got here, I will show some footage showing these games that I did return. I had more than this and I'm frustrated that I've only got these because the three games that I returned are the three I wanted the most. Which is, ah, that's frustrating as hell, but can't be helped sometimes. So, we do have Call of Duty 2 on the Xbox 360 that had disc rot. Star, Star Ocean, The Last Hope, not only were the discs scratched, disc 2 had disc rot as well. And then Supreme Commander 2, a game I didn't even know existed until I found it in the CEX, was also had, you know, had a little bit of disc rot. To be honest, with the disc rot, these games would still work for, you know, however long, but that over time that disc rot is only going to get worse, your copy is ruined after that point. <sighs> it's very frustrating, and the, ma the fact of the matter is, it's the fact that CEX took them in and missed that, it must have been the same trading or something along those lines, but... Anyways, we move on. It is what it is. Anyhow, I did get a few 3.6 titles, but we'll go over this title first. Cannon Fodder uh, on the Mega Drive. This is one that I've seen good things about, I've heard good things about. It looked fun with, with manual as well. It all seemed really nice. The condition of this copy is lovely as well. Cartridge is all good, as you can see here. However, I managed to get this for the without manual price, and you're about to see why. I'm just going to put that down. So, it all looks good until you open it up, and then before you know it, you know, I'm um, not demonstrating this well, pages were falling out. They're all accounted for, all the pages are indeed here. So, I don't, that's the thing, it's only so many pages that came out. So, realistically, what what I would do is <laughs> you got to be very careful when buying these out of CEX because it could have missing pages, pages in half and chunks. Yeah, you never know. And to be fair, like the staff aren't paid enough to care. Let's be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's uh, I would say a bit more due diligence maybe from like the management teams and that maybe when these things are taken in and processed perhaps. But uh, yeah, it's got missing, it's got like the pages that are coming out, so I'm happy enough to take it for the without manual price as that made it from £18 down to 10 And as you can see here, the manual is indeed there. You play the game, not the manual. So just to have it present, I'm happy with for that price. £10 for that, cannot complain whatsoever. So I did get some 360 titles here. Again, these ones are pretty, all pretty cheap. I actually had to take a couple of them back, being Army of Two and Table Tennis, because they were scratched the hell and back. But I got them resurfaced, which I knew would be the case. I had a pile for what's getting resurfaced and what you know I'm going to keep. And you can see here, after this has been resurfaced, it looks brand new. So I'm very happy with the Table Tennis. These are all complete. Table Tennis is just one of those games I've never got around to picking up, and at a pound, I don't ever see that one going up to be perfectly honest, but I just didn't have it in the collection yet, so I wanted to take it. And then Pure. This is one I could have swore I had. I was very wrong, so for a pound fifty, I've only heard good things about Pure, so I thought I'll just pick it up and add it to the collection. Then this these two are the Army of Two games. Uh first one being Army of Two and then Army of Two 40 Day. So I think it may yeah, 40th day, sorry. Um but yeah, there is another one like the Devil's Cartel, I believe it's called, that I've seen a few times, but I always wanted to buy all three at once. But I thought I'm just gonna snag these up now while I can at a pretty cheap price. Well Army of Two never go up, I don't know. 40th day, I mean this one's three pound, it used to consistently be like a pound as well. So I figured now's the time to snag them up or I'll probably end up forgetting about them or they'll go up in the future. So again, decent, decent selection here. Nothing like groundbreaking or amazing or anything, but some nice additions to the collection, especially like Cannon Fodder, the Army 2 games, and Pure. They'll all be games that I've not had for a while. Again, grabbing them while they're a pound or so each, minus Cannon Fodder, that was 10, but for the condition it's in, for 10 pound, I'm very happy with that. 
And there we have it folks, that was this week's video. I say this week's mostly. Uh, well, I'm gonna go and actually aim to do two uploads a week again, so yay! <laughs> You'll see more of this ugly mug. And perhaps even start streaming as well, so I've put up a poll uh, ahead of this upload, so if you are interested, go and vote on that or leave a comment down below. I've kind of made the poll so it's like, yes, you want to see it on YouTube, you want to see it on Twitch, or you know, just separation of platforms, or if you want to follow me on both, that's cool as well. I've not used Twitch in so, some time, but anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. It goes a long way, it just helps my channel be seen, and also makes me feel good when I see people leave comments and liking the video. So yeah, drop a like, share, comment, and I will catch you next time. Thanks, and goodbye.